Welcome to Penultimo. This is Penultimo. She's a 2021 Beneteau Oceana 62. She is an excellent sailor and it has been an absolute pleasure to cruise around the Greek islands in her. She's in the charter fleet at Navigar Yachting based in Athens where we picked her up. In this video, we're going to give you an in-depth tour of this beautiful boat. She has a large master cabin, a very comfortable salon and galley, two aft cabins and a bunk room. The master cabin has its own ensuite head while the aft cabins have to share one. She has a very comfortable cockpit with twin helms. The transom folds down hydraulically where the Williams jet tender is stored. She has electric furling and a beautiful teak deck. So this is a 2021 Beneteau Oceana 62, uh, they call it their Oceanus yacht. Pretty nice boat so far, we've been on it just a short amount of time. Uh, normally we film these kind of like boat tours after we've been on the boat for a week or two, but it's so pretty and nice we're going to get it all dirty, we wanted to film it now. And I just had a uh, briefing from the uh, base manager Emil, and, or not base manager, the assistant manager, the base manager is Nissan, and uh, really went in on an in-depth tour so we're going to show you all the stuff now. Uh, so moving forward, um, it does obviously have an electric winch with half inch chain, and this is uh, an electric furler for the head sail. It is a self-tacking uh, jib, so uh, pretty easy to use. And of course, if you need it, if you wanted to, you have uh, your halyard for your spinnaker or anything you want to do there. Uh, moving back a little, the controls for the windlass are right in. Ow! Right in here. Move. Got the controls right here for the windlass, uh, moving it up and down. And this also does have a pretty nice, um, uh, it would be a captain's cabin, and I will take you down there. We're here real quick. Uh, there's a couple bunks in here. It's got its own toilet and shower and sink and all that and fan. And you got, you know, you can open this uh, light up here and, or a uh, port up here and get a lot of air. So it's really, as far as, you know, cabin captain or captain cabins, one of the better ones I've seen, honestly. It's got the, it's pretty nice and spacious. And I honestly would not mind using this myself. Coming back, you do have the two day beds here. Uh, I mean, gosh, I can't imagine we're not going to use this a little bit. And of course, the self tacking jib that it's really easy to tack, right? Self tacking, you don't have to do it. Uh, you know, and obviously you don't get as much sail area from it, but easy use, it's pretty nice, especially for a charter boat. So here at the mast, all your controls run aft, all the lines run aft, so you don't actually have to do anything up here. It does have in-mast furling, uh, so it's kind of nice to use. I, I There's pluses and minuses to that. So if it works good, it's great, I'd prefer to have it, but when it works, sucks, uh, it, it doesn't work. You just have to, you have to have somewhat newer sails. But, so, lots of space up here. Uh, really, you don't need to come up here to do much other than drop the anchor. So we'll move back to the uh, cockpit back here. Okay, inside the cockpit and the helms here, so it has dual helms, one on each side. And unlike a lot of boats, you know, a lot of boats will have dual helms, but, you know, your engine controls are on this side and your bow thruster and all your main stuff is over here. Uh, and over here, you just got generally a steering wheel. But this side, you have repeatable controls on each side. I can control the engine, the bow thruster, and it's got a stern thruster too, and they're really powerful. This boat will move a good way, so you can just go slip sideways straight into the dock. Really nice for handling. Carbon wheels, pretty cool. Makes it nice and light. Uh, and uh, you know, you can steer from either side of the boat. Really comfortable. Um, and then these, when you're underway, lay down so that you have these big seating areas and a big couch back here. It's just really, I mean, it's gotta be really comfortable for hanging out on the back. Um, each side does have two electric winches and you can control the winches from either side of the boat, right? So I can control the port side winch by pushing a button right here and it controls the winch over on that side. Um, in here, you just have some ice coolers uh, and some storage. Coming aft over here, your shore power plug-in is here and then you can also control your uh, passerelle, which is your gangplank. It is telescoping and it's just automatic. I can control the in and, you know, so I can, I hit the in and it starts bringing the uh, passerelle in and I hit out and it goes back out. And then I can also, let me get it out all the way first. I can raise and lower it too, pretty nice. And then coming down here, 
It does have uh, a swim platform that'll come up and down. <laughs> I did, should have brought it with me, it's in the cockpit. But you can actually lower and raise this thing with a remote control, pretty easy to do. And down inside here, this they call this the dinghy garage. It has a Williams jet tender that is really powerful and you use the same thing here. You open this tray up right here, you pull out the rollers and it's got a winch attached to this uh, Williams jet tender that you can just slide it out and slide it in and pretty cool. I'm looking forward to getting out and exploring all uh, the islands in this thing. It'll be really nice for getting around. And like I said, this is all hydraulic and uh, audit me, I'll look, control it with a button. Inside the cockpit here, uh, you know, I mean, you can easily see 12 people here, no problem, very comfortably around here. The little, you know, if you're having dinner, these things will come out, whatever you need to do. But, and then these will fold up, you know, for cocktails or whatever you want to do. It's got little drink holders under here for your drinks. Um, I mean, just really comfortable here. And there's lights inside the arch and there's lights here and up, up here as well so that you have lots of lighting in here at night. And then if you need some airflow, you can open up, unzip uh, the forward little Isinglass there and get some more airflow coming here. It's only supposed to be like in the mid 70s as a high this entire week So we probably won't uh, need to worry about getting too much airflow through here But I mean this is just super comfortable. I'm really excited about sailing it and uh, man, This is pretty nice and it's got more day beds up here too, right? So pretty awesome I know the girls are excited about it. There is a life raft under the floor in the cockpit and a grill that pops up under the aft seating area so really impressed with the interior of this yacht. The salon is amazing. Let's start in the forward cabin, which is the master cabin, and then we'll kind of move our way back and show you everything. So really spacious uh, master cabin. You can walk around all the way in here. I mean, I'm really impressed by how big and how much space this is up in this boat, really. Uh, you have your wardrobes over here, lots of storage, uh, you know, shoes, all that stuff. Plenty of good hanging locker on this side. And then on the other side, on this side, you have another really nice big size wardrobe. Really cool. Of course, you know, I mean, there's even more drawers here everywhere. Life jackets are stored under there. And then more storage under the bed as well. I mean, just so much space in here. And then you have these big side lights, um, you know, you get that give you just, I mean, really, it's a pretty nice view. You can open this up. And then you got your hatches right above the bed so you get airflow. And of course, more windows here to get more light in so it's pretty cool and then this boat has its own head um and it uh it is not well it does have like a little folding door so it can be a dry shower so that the rest of the toilet does not get wet while you're in here plenty good uh size for the shower and the bathroom here uh, i'm not mad at it at all so you know this place it really impressive so far with the forward cabin coming aft uh your refrigeration is right here you have your refrigerator just kind of a it's almost like a full-size refrigerator freezer these can be a freezer or refrigerator wherever you like so just plenty of refrigeration which is really nice so i mean it's basically the same size as a household refrigerator and then moving aft here a lot of big you know you have your double sink right here a really deep sink and you can also have these little inserts that you can use for you know uh, chopping, cooking, all that. A lot of storage space here. And then you have your gimbaled stove down in here. Um, I don't want to dis detach it right here, but it hides away when you don't need it. And I mean, just kind of the counter space on this is really amazing. Uh, and then of course more storage under here for you know pots, pans, all that stuff. Uh, and then it has, which is really cool, it has a little dishwasher, which will be, I've never had a dishwasher on our boat, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, so, uh, and then, you know, just, you know, that's the oven here below the uh, stove. And then just more storage, just everywhere you go, pots, pans, you know, you got your utensils and cook and, and uh, you know, forks and all that stuff. Just tons of space. And then also, have a built-in washer dryer. This is kind of like the one where it does the washing and drying all in one, so pretty cool. Although I'd recommend if you're gonna do that, just wash in here and then hang things outside to dry. But uh, then, and it's just the main salon. I mean, just look at the space here. I mean, it's just so much space. The two leaves fold out and you could fit a good, you could fit 10, maybe even 12 people around this table uh, and just have a really comfortable time. And I believe this right here, 
is uh, the TV that pops up. Haven't figured out how to make it work yet. Just so much space in here, it's so nice. I mean, for a monohole, that's, but that's what you get with 62 feet, right? And then of course, your nav station right here. You have the repeater for your B&G. Uh, this will be my little office when I'm working. So chart table, everything you need here, radio. You have all your controls for your power station right here. And uh, you know, you can run all your generators and turn everything on on these panels right here. Uh, so it's kind of where you monitor station and then a repeater for your uh, stereo. Um, but just so much space in here, really excited about this boat. Oh, one more thing that this thing has in the main salon is it has its wine chiller. Voila, wine chiller, really, on a boat. Pretty amazing. So just really stoked about this space. I think under here is where the engine room should be. Yeah, so the engine room is right under here. And a big old Yanmar. I'm not sure how many horsepower it is. Uh, let's see here. On 170, 170 horsepower. Which, uh, that's pretty big for, you know, 62 foot boat. That means this thing will move quite a, quite a good ways under motor. And then there are hatches on either side where you can get at the motors as well. Uh, but then, uh, so now let's take you back to the aft cabins. Now let's move back to the aft cabins. The, the, this does have an option. You can have a three cabin. So you have the master cabin up front and then two cabins on, in either side on the back. It has uh, up the head on the port side and then on the starboard side, you could either put another head or it could have a double bunk. Um, this one is set up with a double bunk so you get some more people. Uh, so, but we'll show you this side and then the other side. So coming, coming back here on the port side, uh, you know, you do have to kind of crawl up in there, but it is a good size bed and you do have your own light right there. But uh, you do have one hanging locker on this side, you know, just for a couple for a weekend or something like that, it'd be fine or, you know, and then it does have access to the head right here. And then there is out access from the salon as well because this is kind of used as the guest cabin for everybody. The head does have, you know, a separate, so it's a dry shower so that uh, it's a decent size here. And so, but it, you do have to share it with the other cabins. So on the starboard side of the boat, I mean, it's an option. You can put a head here, which is probably what I'd do. I don't think you need the extra stuff. It's set up as a bunk room for two small bunks. Uh, you know, it's not a bad size space for that, and it's got its own little closet as well. But uh, for me, personally, I'd rather have like the third head. I mean, just because, you know, I'm never gonna have more than two guest rooms occupied, but if you need it, but for charter, it's kind of nice to have. Coming aft is basically just like the other aft stateroom over there. Uh, you know, similar size and everything. The only difference is, is you have, on this side, you have some generator and uh, engine access but it is pretty nice. You can walk all the way in here and you can get access to the generator pretty well. And then if you pull this panel off on the side, you can get access to the motor as well. It's actually the same on the other side. So there you have it. Uh, Penultimo is the name of the boat. She's a 2021 Oceanus uh, yacht from Navigar Yachting. Uh, it's on charter here. You can charter if you'd like. I mean, we're really excited to sail this uh, in Greece. They have a bunch of other boats as well on their dock. This is their main dock right over there. They've got a bunch of monohulls and a bunch of catamarans. And uh, there is a special right now. You get uh, the discount count. If you use the Sailing Doodles discount code, you get a discount on your charter. So if you do that, if you want to log on to their website and uh, check out the boats they have here in Greece, or they have another 13 bases all over the world, you get a discount for using Sailing Doodles. And uh, man, I mean, you won't regret it. It's pretty cool. As far as uh, they do have kind of like a charter ownership person uh, program, so that if you wanted to buy a boat like this, you can put it back on charter with them and they have a couple different programs. They have their guaranteed program. So you buy the boat, you put 20% down and then uh, they guarantee you 9% of the value per year, basically at return on the boat. So if uh, that helps make your payments on the boat, they do have another program. If you don't want guaranteed, uh, they say they average, I think it's something like 12% um, is the return on your money per year. Uh, but you also get to write off all the tax appreciation and all that. So it really helps out with your tax savings. So it's kind of a good way to kind of get into a boat. So you put it, you have it, you buy the boat, you put it in charter for five years. At the end of the year, five years, hopefully your boat's paid for and you didn't have to pay that much. And you still get like six or I think it's seven weeks a year, maybe it's six, I'm not sure, uh, to use your boat wherever you'd like in the program. So really cool. Check out navigaryachting.com and we're really excited about sailing this boat.